Hi, it's Ren from Spirits of Fashion. Welcome back to my channel. We've got a power through, people. We've got the third piece in this series of unbagging all of these wonderful gifts um, that I talked about in the last two videos. Those of you who haven't seen them, I recommend watching them because there's been lots of uh, goodies that coming out of this bag that was given to me by my husband's sister-in-law and it was her mom's and so we're finding a lot of gems from the 70s and 80s and it's been it's been a lot of fun so we got to power through because I need to move on after this video I know there's more content I want to share with you so just let's go <laughs> going in here goes okay we're gonna move fast all right oh my ah look at this little little jumpsuit for the summer oh wow okay very cute I'm not gonna stay long on any one thing but very nice surprise this is adorable oh my perfect summer outfit first thing next surprise another bag I un unbagged these two, ba two bags before this one. And here's another one, uh, beige. This has a number of compartments in it, which is nice. That's always a bonus. And inside there's a little paper, doesn't have anything on it. Uh, but again, you never know what you're gonna find in these bags. Uh, just beige with a little bit of a gold tone uh, buckle type apparatus there. Very cute, good size for carrying everything you need. Oh. Another good summer piece. This is a lovely, this looks like a 70s piece too. Um, possibly 80s though, maybe early 80s. But it's this rust color with this cream colored trim. And it is perfect for summer. The fabric would be the only issue for me because I feel the heat more than ever as I'm getting older. Some of you might be able to relate. But um, if it's not breathable, it's going to be tougher for me to wear. But because this doesn't have a lot of fabric, around the neck and shoulders it won't be as bad but really cute little maxi dress for going out to dinner uh, or just doing errands around town not too fancy next is this oh my okay um oh it's another duster we talked about this last time um dusters are something that oh, the breakfast club it says that's one of my favorite movies from the 80s that's interesting i just saw a clip on that on youtube today but um, this lovely little floral duster was for women working around the home or just lounging at home and sometimes it would just cover what they were already wearing and it would keep the dust off it if they're cleaning. So uh, they usually have snap buttons like this one does and it's just a really pretty floral print and the tags are still there. It says Breakfast Club and it was from Caldor. So this is definitely an 80s piece. Love that. Ooh, I always love it when all of a sudden there's lace coming out of the bag. This is adorable, this little lace piece. Um, oh, this is just adorable. And again, I'm not sure if these were from um, my, my husband's sister-in-law, uh, from any of her clothing or any siblings, but um, this is it's very small, it's adorable. And it looks like it would almost be um, for a very young girl, so it's possible she had it when she was younger. And it's peach lace, just with a little tie in front. I would totally wear this over even what I'm wearing because it would match. So we're gonna put that over there because I might put it on later. Very cute, very, very cute. I see stripes, stripes are coming out. Again, I'm moving fast. This is, uh, it, doesn't, it just doesn't have a label except for it being 100% polyester, which if you've heard me say this before, polyester it doesn't breathe it's a synthetic so it can be quite warm um, so if you're going to wear this make sure it's a little cooler temperatures outside or there's air conditioning in the building you're going to but I love just the classic stripe um, very it, cool because the inside the lining is not really a lining it's the inside of the fabric so you see the opposite colors in stripes there long sleeve and with um, small buttons there is a stain on there so we might have to uh, do a little cleaning on that one but um, very cute very cute little classic type blazer more surprises in store oh my look at this this talk about polyester 
Now this has a dry cleaning label on it um, and it is floral, almost like the duster print that I showed you shortly, a short time ago. And it has a roundish collar and the, it, again, just has mostly just the care instructions on the label, doesn't have a brand on there. Um, very warm <laughs> to the touch. I would melt in this personally, but it's just such a perfect example of a 70s polyester little jacket. It might have something that goes with it in there. We'll find that out shortly. More stripes. Um, oh, a blouse. This definitely is an 80s or late 70s blouse. These were worn, I remember, in the disco era, late 70s. I was in college and they had these little ties, but they were also worn in the 80s, more like the working woman's blouse that would be worn with a blazer. So it had a little tie that could be tied in a bow or just tied and left hanging. Um, but this is a typical example of that late 70s, early 80s type fabric and type style blouse. So again, the poly and um, again, a warm feel, 100% polyester made in USA and top made is the brand on this one. So definitely has a little label in there. So it has a tie, so you could tie it around your waist as well, right here. This little tie that, um, there you go. So you could, it could be belted and worn outside a skirt or trousers, probably again with a suit or with a blazer over it. Just black and white classic. Ah, here's the top to that rust jumpsuit I showed you. And the, oh, very cute. Little jacket that goes on top of that, little um, sleeveless, almost strapless, but it does have straps. But this goes perfectly over that. So if you're going somewhere air conditioned in the summer, you can definitely stay a little warmer with this little jacket over that jumpsuit. Ah, a scarf. This is a, it looks like it had been hand done, um, hand knit. It looks like to me, very um, wide stitches and it's off white, so it would go with anything, but it could also be used as a shawl. Just for warmth, I showed you a shawl in one of the last two videos I did on this and uh, something that can just be worn over the shoulders if it's cool inside whether or not it's um, you know a hot summer day, you might need it indoors. I've been to places, weddings, etc., where it was freezing inside and very warm outside. So you sort of need something to carry with you so that you're comfortable all of the time. So this looks hand done for sure. Um, I don't think there's a label on it. I don't think. Yeah, well, there is. I'm sorry. Hey, I was giving credit. Um, it's just has a name on it. But there is definitely a label, so this was a manufactured piece. Okay, there it is. Oh, I see something blue. Oh, a comb. This must have been a bridesmaid's or a flower girl's little headpiece. Uh, very common in the 70s and 80s to do that. Um, I remember these colors being very popular for weddings in the 70s especially. And it just, this is, it's so cute that this was kept. It must have been my husband's sister-in-law's or a sibling of hers, but just very, very sweet headpiece. Oh boy. Cape Cod Matchmates. I don't know if this went with a top that I showed you earlier. I don't think so, but it could still be in the bag and talk about your polyester. This is definitely polyester and um, just a, a simple pair of pants, but uh, it's sort of an aqua color. So nice for the summer, if you don't mind them being a little on the warm side. It'd be too hot for me. Black satin. Let's see. Black satin, no label for a brand but it is uh doesn't has the car, care label again and little shoulder pads so i'm assuming this is from the 80s and it's just a jacket that probably went over another dress or jumpsuit or whatever and i see something black so let's see if this matches that 
and it's blue. Any of you get mixed up between navy and black? I do a lot of times. Another Cape Cod sportswear piece, like the other pants, but in navy instead of the aqua color. And as I said, this is just a little jacket that would be worn over um, at probably a tank top or a sleeveless top of some kind, just to keep the chill off if needed. Oh, another one. Oh my, there's uh, three of them. One of them is uh, without the streamers, maybe an older child, and this one is just like the other one I showed you from obviously a wedding. We're getting there. Uh, oh boy, does this scream 80s or what? Very cute. Um, cobalt blue, very popular in the 80s, especially with the black collar and trim sometimes on the cuffs as well. Um, very, very common to have that color combination. Sometimes you see emerald green, sometimes red. So lots of the jewel tones in the 80s and even into the early 90s. And so this is very common for that period. And these buttons also, metal buttons would be very common. Um, I, this is cute. This is a really cute, just little plain jacket uh, from that period. And it says Miranda K on it and then has the care label. It's rayon. I think it's 100%. No, nope, I'm sorry. It's rayon and acetate. Um, acetate is a manufactured fiber um, that rayon was the first manufactured fiber and then acetate came after that. Acetate is something that often mimics silk satin. Doesn't feel like it, but mimics it in terms of um, shine. And so a lot of formal wear is made using acetate, um, but this has acetate in it as part of the whole package. But I like that typical 80s look, especially the color combo. Pink. Okay. Oh. oh. I, you know, I can't really call it a caftan, but it's sort of like a caftan. And it's not really a duster either. It looks to me like just a comfortable dress to wear either around the house or uh, to wear out to dinner if you just wanted something simple but with a little bit of flair to it, like the sort of peasant style with the wider sleeves and the elasticized neck. And it does have a button in the back. Very, very cute. It has some flowers at the bottom and on the sleeves as well. Cute little print, probably 70s or 80s. And no, oh, wrong again, it is a Granada. One size fits all. So again, very caftan-like and uh, comfortable to wear um, in the summer, in the spring, uh, even early fall, but just a fun piece. Thing that's great about these synthetics is they do wash and wear very well, but you can't get rid of them. They do not, they're not biodegradable, which is why we're so concerned with the landfill and with fast fashion being made of these materials. Um, it's very important to keep that in mind. But if this doesn't go to a landfill because I'm carrying on the life of it, then that's a good thing. Then we're saving one more piece from the landfill, and that's how I look at it. And some people do prefer these looser styles, especially in the warmer months. They're just more comfortable. Okay, moving on. Almost done. The black jacket I showed you, wondering if it went with something. It could have been this dress. Talk about a classic black sleeveless dress. Feels like linen, but I don't think it is. Um, and I'm looking for a label, and there isn't one, not one label. A plain, simple black shift. So classic can be worn pretty much anywhere, and you can change what you put over it, like that little black jacket. You could even put that cobalt blue jacket with the black collar on, it would be really sharp with this. Maybe that's how it was originally worn, I don't know. But um, really cool to think of different combinations that could be worn with some of these vintage fashions. Oh boy, this is a surprise too. Um, oh. This is a, a long dress. I'm trying to figure it out. That's why I'm not saying much. Um, it has a lining and the inside lining also has that floral print, but then it has this big belt wrapped around it. So it's something I'm gonna to have to figure out. 
but it is a long dress and it has this kind of um, drapey look to it. It's hard to tell, I know, on camera sometimes. So um, I think I'm going to have to put this on my dress form for you and I will put a picture of it up for you to see what it looks like on a person or a dress form because it's very difficult to tell, but it looks like a really cool piece. So I'll get back to you on that one. You'll see a picture of it. Down to the bottom, almost done. This is a Maggie McNaughton skirt, a velvet feel. Um, it is velvet or velveteen, obviously not silk velvet. They just don't do that much anymore, too expensive, but it's just a simple black skirt. Uh, is lined and I like it because it's uh, it's classic just like that black dress so someone who would want to wear this could certainly wear this with almost anything you could dress it up or dress it down and it's a lot of fun I just recently um, thrifted a beaded piece which is typical 80s shoulder pads fully beaded front and back and it would be really pretty with this simple black skirt um, so someone that wants to look a little fancier could use one of those beaded pieces. You can still find them in thrift stores and you can usually tell because they're very heavy and they have the big shoulder pads and that is very typical 80s bling. So it could be worn with this and look really cool. Okay, let's see. Two more pieces and they're accessories. There's a bag right here, black bag, uh, with a little flap in front. Again, lots of compartments. The backs are very classic. So that's cool because they're really not trendy enough to go out of style. So they could be used for a long time, um, reused season to season and not worry about um, being out of fashion at all. They're pretty, they're pretty uh, classic looking. This is made in China. So this isn't that old of a piece, um, probably 90s or early 2000s. Classic. And the last piece is a wallet. So let's grab that. And this is the kind that I like. This is the choices I usually make when I'm buying. It's funny, it says classic on it. But when I'm buying a wallet, I, I got tired of the huge wallets. If you're like me and you put everything in your purse, it just took up so much space and was heavier. So I just downsize to this size and I don't like a zipper compartment for the change. I can never get the coins out. I need this. Yes, it's easier. It opens up and you can grab the change. I know nobody uses cash anymore, but once in a while I'm still doing that and to have the coins in something I can easily get them out. This looks like it was never used um, and it does have Plenty of space for credit cards and pictures of whatever you'd like to put in there, your license, and for the um, paper money too, the bills. So I like it. It's like a, an orangey red color. It's really beautiful. I think I'm going to have to hold on to this because I would, I would use this wallet. It's really, really nice. So that is it. I needed to get through that. It was fun. Fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. And I hope that you will look forward to some of my... Uh, new videos coming out. I'm going to be doing more fashion history, more on designers and um, some thrifting and hauls as we go along because I just can't resist. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do try to post videos every week and I do have a website, spiritsoffashion.net that you can find um, a free ebook on there. I've talked about in my past videos. You can subscribe to my monthly newsletter where I list all of the places where I'll be doing fashion era presentations. So that list will always be on those newsletters. So please stay safe and remember folks, style never dies. Bye.